guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in a little different spot to film today just because of what I have been working on. It just made more sense to do this video here rather than move everything to my normal spot. Um, right now the lighting's actually a little better in here so it works. But anyway, I decided to come back. I know I had mentioned in a video um, a while back um, about trying to kind of think outside of the box this year for Halloween. Um, I think we're all having to do that because we're not really sure what Halloween's going to look like this year, along with everything else that's happened this year. Um, but I don't know, you know, where you're at in the world, what this COVID pandemic situation looks like for you. Um, I know here, unfortunately, our area has taken kind of a step back. So I feel like a normal Halloween is, um, probably not very likely. So I had showed you guys some ideas. I wanted to come back and show you some of the things that I've put together and have come up with to kind of make Halloween still fun and special if it is looking more like a situation where it's going to be at home, um, which really stinks, but you know, it, it's going to be what it's going to be, I guess. So I would love to see trick-or-treating happen, especially on a Saturday, but you know, who knows? So Something I saw um, another YouTuber suggest, and I thought this was a really great idea this year, if kids are not going to be able to trick or treat, that stinks. Um, so how could you still try and do something at home and make it fun? She suggested um, taking glow sticks, and so I just picked up these glow stick bracelets and putting them into inflated balloons and then putting candy inside those balloons and letting the kids kind of trick or treat that way by popping the balloons. Um, so I thought that was a really great idea. It will it would work um, inside, outside. I mean, if you know, a lot of times Halloween, the weather's not great. Um, so if the weather isn't great, it's something you could definitely do in the house um, just with the lights off. I think kids would love that. Um, if it's nice out, doing it in the backyard would be fun for them as well. So I thought that was a really great idea. Um, I picked up some glow sticks and I think if, if trick or treating is not an option, this is a great alternative. I think it will be super fun for kids. So that is one thing that I had picked up. The other thing I was working on were some other activities. Again, if you have to stay home and try to keep your kids entertained and still make them feel like they enjoy Halloween this year. Um, there's a lot of great ideas online, um, and just looking for ideas. I've came across some I'm going to share with you guys. I will try to link where I found these in the description box so you can go get these printables if you would like to do the same thing. One of them that I found was a Halloween trivia. Um, so they print out, there was like th two, three pages of these, I think, of just questions related to Halloween. Um, just to give you an example, um... Who is the Pumpkin King? Jack Skellington, of course. So what I did is I just started by cutting out all the little questions. Then I took some different Halloween printed cardstock and just glued those onto there to kind of make a game out of it. Something fun you could do on Halloween night with the kids. Um, you know, maybe after your trick-or-treating activity, you order some pizza or get together some snacks and sit down and play a couple games related to Halloween. I think that's likely an activity that I would do at my house. So, um, like I said, I just printed those out, glued them on to some Halloween cardstock, and you've got a cute little Halloween game here. So those were really cute. And then the other game idea that I found was a Halloween Would You Rather game. Um, kids love this Would You Rather game. I don't know why they get such a kick out of it, but you know, would you rather have a ginormous head or a tiny body? You know, I mean, goofy questions like that. They just love to like hear your answers and discuss why you pick one or the other. So this one is all Halloween themed, which I thought was a really cute idea. Um, there's several pages of ideas here. I'll read you a couple. Um, would you rather decorate one giant pumpkin or 10 tiny pumpkins? 
Would you rather go trick-or-treating with a werewolf or a zombie? So again, I think these are things that kids would have a lot of fun with. Another activity to do if you've got to stay in on Halloween. Um, so I already actually started working on this just to give you an idea of a fun way to do it. I had this little cauldron. I don't know where it came from. I, I mean, it's been in our Halloween supply for years probably. So I pulled this out and just started cutting up some of those questions, folded them up and put them in the cauldron. Then when you print out this printable, it actually comes with this little sign too. So I just cut the sign out again, glued it onto some Halloween cardstock, stuck it onto a little paper straw and then stuck it in here to make like a sign. So again, something simple, easy, but I still think something that kids would enjoy for Halloween if you're stuck at home. So that was my other idea. But like I said, this is by no means the options that are available to you that are online. If you look, there's a million things you could do. Um, I know I've showed you guys on my other video, um, a scavenger hunt that I had found for Halloween. I had that printed out. There was also like a word scramble kind of thing, you know, where the letters are all mixed up and you've got to figure out what the Halloween word is. Just some silly stuff like that to kind of do together and make it fun if you're stuck at home. So I am working on a couple other things still with this whole Halloween at home idea in mind. Um, but the only other one that I really have ready at this point, I showed you these in that video. These were the um, little cupcake toppers that I found online. I printed those out, just stuck them onto some card stock. Death by Chocolate. So these are really cute. I thought they'd be cute if you make some Halloween pumpkins. May, or Halloween pumpkins, good grief. If you make some Halloween cupcakes, um, maybe frost them with orange and green and purple frosting. It would look really cute, I think, if you stuck these in, top, in the top of them just to kind of have a little festive holiday treat for Halloween. So just another idea that, again, is free. You can find this online, print it out, make it a little fancier on your own by cutting out some paper with some fancy scissors and popping it on there. Um, it might even be something that would be fun for the kids to do with you. They might like to do this, cut these out and make the little toppers themselves. Who knows? But that is that, guys. So like I said, I just, I feel like this year it really stinks that while well, this whole year, let's be real, has pretty much kind of stunk. But the fact that Halloween is on a Saturday, um, which, you know, is, is cool in itself. And there's a full moon. Um, and we've had this pandemic junk going on. So kind of stinks, um, that it's probably not going to be like everything else this year. It's not going to be what we normally have for Halloween. Um, so I wanted to still find a way to maybe make it special or fun. And I think those are just a few ideas. Maybe get your wheels spinning or get you looking online to see what else you can find that you think your kids or family might enjoy. And I'd love to hear any other ideas or any other sites or printables, things that you come up with or find along the way. Definitely leave me a note in the comments or um, hit me up on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate you stopping by and watching this video. And I will hope to see you again next time. Have a great night.